Martha, welcome to Off the Pitch. Thank you. <coughs> How was that, eh? And <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are joined by Martha on set. Martha is the media uh, pub public relations manager for Zanako Football Club, and she's joined us on set today because we want to look at Zanako's uh, run for the 2019-2020 season. And I won't waste much of uh, the viewers' time, Martha. Let's go straight. How was the 2019-2020 season for you as Zanako? Um, it was bad because <laughs> it was bad because we, you know, we, we walked away with nothing. No abs, a cup, trophy. We couldn't be able, we, we didn't win the league. We couldn't qualify for CAF Champions League, let alone CAF Confederations Cup. Uh, it wasn't easy. It, it would, would you say, if I would ask this question, to say it was the COVID? Would you say the COVID was the reason or maybe it was just the form of the players? I think COVID also affected everything because, you know, the league had to end on um, week 27 because of the same pandemic that's going on. So, um, you know, COVID has ruined everything. So l let's, let's look at, I, I don't know if you would answer this, but let's look at the game, the last game that you played, the deciding game. It's more of Zanako gave the trophy to Ghana to say, okay, it's an Amsende. Did the guys go there with the motive of winning or maybe it was just, anyway, let's just play the game since we've been taught to play it. Um, we, we went to Ndola to fulfill the fixed. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the FA said we had to play for strangers and we followed the rules. We didn't go there to play because because of Ghana or because of Forest. We went there to play because we had to fulfill the fixture. And we wanted to win, we wanted the three points, but unfortunately we ended up drawing. So everyone was in a fighting spirit. We wanted to end you know, the season on a good note, even though we didn't get to win any trophy. How was the news in camp when you guys were told to say you have to play the game after the alien news that came in to say the three points was awarded to Zanako, but it was maybe reversed to say the game had to be played. How did the camp take the news? I uh, actually thought after the match with uh, Lumana Regents at Sunset, you know, uh, the general manager came in the dressing room. We, we, actually, there were rumors. By then we had not yet received an official, uh, official notification from, you know, the, the FA saying that we have to play for exchanges. But then it was, you know, people talk, you know, with social media, you know, everything <laughs> most fast. And uh, the match uh, against, um, well, is it Nap Sisters with uh, Forest? Mm -hmm. You know, it was live on TV and it was said that, you know, the league manager actually announced on TV that would have to play for exchanges. So we, we, we got that, we heard that, you know, rumors were going around and then... It was received with mixed feelings. We're like, we were given the three points, and now we have, you know, spending twice. We went to to Ndola when we were supposed to play for exchanges, and it didn't happen. And now, you know, receiving the news that we have to go back there again and play after you've been given the three points, and also the issue of spending twice. So it was received with mixed feelings. But then, after a day, you know, the general manager said, no, we have to go and fulfill the fixture. How how would you say you are making the preparations for the 2020-2021 season for you guys? Well, we are hungry. Like <laughs> I said, we, we walked away with nothing. But then that's in the past. Huh? We, you know, you get to learn from your mistakes. So we know what went wrong last season. We know what we didn't do right. We know what we did wrong. So we'll start from where we ended and then see what um, the 2020-2021 season has in store for us. We've seen, we've seen the club. We've seen the club having new signings, but mostly I'll talk from, from the likes of Chisambalungu, Baba Basile. How do you feel like they will add up the, like the spice to the already Zanako team, which is a record to deal with, and then you bring in such players with uh, the experience of Chisambalungu, how do you rate his, like, what is he going to bring to the team? For me, I feel Chisambalungu has a lot to offer. You know, he, he is an, uh, you know, he's very much experienced. 
and um, looking at the players that we have, you know, we've been having young players being pro promoted from young Zanako to the senior team. I think the young players have a lot to learn from Chisambalungu and also looking at it from a business point of view. Um, Chisambalungu is a crowd puller. Because <laughs> I've had people asking me, is it true you've signed Chisambalungu? I'm like, yes. And they'll be like, I'll be supporting Zanako from now on because of Chisambalungu. So for me, I feel he is a good um, signing. A good adder. Mm -hmm. Yes. Any questions? <laughs> I've asked a lot. I think my question would be the tipping form after the coronavirus. What was the case? Um, you know, before the, the, the league was halted, we were in good form. In, we were in good form. But then, you know, the league was halted and we had to stay home. Players had to stay home for about two months in some weeks. Um, they, they were working out from home, you know, receiving instructions from the physical trainer, being told to do this and that. But, you know, that's not enough. And uh, coming back when the league was resumed, each and every player's fitness, you know, the some were bad, some were good, and they had to get back in shape. And we didn't have, uh, you know, enough time to have them get back in shape. And uh, I feel somehow that also contributed to, to our poor performance. And it's football. It's football. You just don't expect them to get back, you know, to be f uh, f fully fit just right then, then just after playing one match. But as you saw, you know, after playing one or two matches, they kept on improving until we recorded our first win. Because I personally, on the 18th, when we, we had the show on the 18th, when the, when the, when the league was supposed to resume, mm -hmm. and Zanako were supposed to take on Forest Rangers, mm -hmm. you remember I predicted that Zanako win the league. Because I thought before the break, you are on a very good run of form. Yeah, form, yeah. Yeah, because under Chris Kunde, we had never lost a league match mm -hmm. up to, to that point. And then it's sad that uh, it had to end this way, because I felt if we would have gone the distance, Zanago would have won the league title. It, it was, was so open. In, uh, in camp? Yes. We were very much confident, confident, but you know how football is. Sometimes things don't go the way you would want them to. And believe me, no one would wake up and say, today I want to lose. Now I've seen people blaming players and all that, but it's their job. Mm -hmm. And... They have to make money. You, they make money through playing football. No one would just wake up and say, today I will let my opponents score, today I am going to lose. It's not like that. You know, each and everyone puts in their very best, but at times things just don't go the way you've planned them. So we, we didn't win anything, but we still have the next season that's coming <laughs> up, and we, we are preparing for that. So I'm just on Zanako, Kelvin Kapum. We saw him being voted man of the match in the last, oh, yeah, the last game against Forest Rangers. And I remember he was being interviewed by Super Gaspar Gurube. He, he asked him, They were Kelvin with the rough. <laughs> and then he said, No, 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 I wasn't rough, I was just tough. And for me, he's one of the best holding midfielders in the land. How impressed have you been with his development? Personally, I am really, really impressed. For me, I feel he's the best number six that we have so far in the country. And like you said, he's really improved looking from how he's been playing. You know, he keeps on improving each and every game. And he's been able to to keep his, he's always in the starting 11. And that's how it's supposed to be. You always, you always have to fight, you know, to make sure that you don't get replaced. Because if you don't perform well, you'll be, you'll be on the bench. So he's, he's been doing very well. So uh, are we seeing any new signings apart from the ones that are already in from Zanako? So far, no. I, I will let you know if we get <laughs> to have any players on board. Any anyway, players on board. Be, before we let you go, any any words to the other teams out there? The Zanako, the force <laughs> that you are going. Any warning to the teams? Out there? I wouldn't say it's a warning, but we we are looking for. Personally, I'm looking forward to the 2020-2021 season. You know, it will be a fresh start. We're all starting from zero, so. We shouldn't be relaxed and say maybe things will go the same way that they did for each and every club this season. So we, we all have to pull up our, our stockings, you know, and put things in order, put things in place and see to it that we'll be able to perform the way we want to next season. 
So we are hungry. We'll be returning for training on the 14th of September. And then see the way forward, maybe go for pre-season. But I'm, I'm not sure yet <laughs> on that. But I am really looking forward to the next season. Oh, okay, let me just ask this question. I know maybe it will sound a bit weird. But it's rare to see a lady indulging themselves a lot in the football. What? What? <laughs> Who inspired you to do what you are doing? Who inspired me? Um, growing up as a child, I used to play chimpom. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, by then, we were only girls in our family. We were four girls, one boy, the last born. So for me, I would always be with dad almost all the time, and people would say, ah, this one was supposed to be a boy. <laughs> so I used to play chimpom. Well, fast forward in grade, should be grade seven, I started playing netball. I, I am more talented. I would play netball, I would play basketball and play football. Then in grade 10, I took um, football. So I played football for three good years, but my father was against it. And growing up, uh, I would tell my dad that I want to be a professional footballer and a journalist. But then he was against me playing football. So that's how I got to love football. And um, I, when, when we had a TV, I can't remember the it should have been 2009. Uh, it was free to air by then, so one had, uh, you know, South African uh, channels. So I used to watch uh, Karo Shabalala. I still do until date, and I would say I want to be like her when I grow up. So she inspired me, and then I got to know about Martin Bankonje. So these two people have really inspired me to be where I am. And then I got to know about Faith. And Gwen, I started looking up to them, the likes of, you know, Desmond Katongo, who's now with Zesco United. So I've been learning a lot from each and every, every one of these people. So how, what's, what's your message to the ladies out there who would want to be in your shoes right now, who would feel like their dreams are being shattered, but for you, you found another way of doing what you, want, you always wanted to do? Just a quick one, your advice. You know, there, there are a lot of industries, fields that people say are a male-dominated, you know, field, for instance, like football. But then there are people like me, people like Gwen, people like Faith, people like Lillian, and people like Christina at Forest that have changed that perspective. And as you can see, a lot of, you know, females have indulged into this field. So if you have anything that you want to do, just set your mind to it and just, fight and see your way forward and believe in yourself just so you make sure you get to that if you have to believe in yourself first self-belief is what works you know the parents might be against us doing what we want to do but i told myself my mom and my dad won't tell me what to do they won't decide what i want to be in future because they were against me doing journalism but i i said i'll do what i love the most already I've been told to not play football, but I won't let this pass me. So self-belief, motivation, and God can lead you to your goals. Uh, anyway, thanks, Ma. That's Martha Shimbi, a football talent hidden in her, but she felt like, oh, there's another way that I can, you know, get into the sports industry without me playing football. And here she is doing it. She is the Zanako football team media PR.